the kind you use to hit patients. If you know, you know. All my gold bars and jewelry and diamond rings. That uh, where the magic happens. And one of my favorite thing about this kitchen is this. Do you see that? That's a pool of water. You wouldn't survive without it. Hey everyone, for those who don't know me, I'm JJ. I'm a Korean medical student in Qatar and I'm trying to become a doctor in the US. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the most luxurious student housing in the world. And it's the dorms that I live in. So without further ado, let's get to it. And I forgot to mention, but rent is around seven to $800 a month. I just flew in from Korea to Qatar. So excuse the mess if there are any. It kind of has a hotel like key thing where you put in your key so that you can turn on your lights and that's what it does. So this is my living room. This housing has one living room, one kitchen, two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And I have a roommate right next door. And on the right here, we have this electric panel where I can use to turn on and off the lights. Turn it on. And we have the AC control here. And AC is absolutely necessary in the Middle East because it's really hot outside and you wouldn't survive without it. So in this living room, uh, we have a nice cozy couch there. And this is the table where I usually eat meals by myself. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about this table is how low the table is. Cause then I would have to bend over to eat my meals. So I wish it was a bit higher. Lots of storage spaces here, cabinets, uh, things like that. And there's a TV. Students uh, who have PlayStations, Xboxes, or Nintendos plug it in there and play video games, uh, which I don't have. So hopefully someday I'll be able to get myself a PlayStation and play some games. We have three windows here and I'll show you the view outside. You can see the amazing desert view. You can see some palm trees. And one thing I wanted to show you is this amazing natural phenomenon. Do you see that? That's a pool of water. And that's something you don't really see in this region because if it's super hot, all the water evaporates. You can only see pools of water like that during cooler seasons like now when it's around 25 degrees Celsius. So yeah, that's what the view looks like. And if we look here, you can see the kitchen. Um, we have these two stools, but I never use them because it's not very comfortable. And it's a open kind of kitchen. That's uh, where my roommate lives. And I'll show you the kitchen. A few things about the kitchen. What I really like is that it has a big sink. And if you cook, you really need a big sink. It just makes everything a lot easier. Again, lots of cabinets and storage space. And one of my favorite thing about this kitchen is this. This is a food processor and I think it's an amazing human innovation because if you have food waste, you just put it in here, it gets processed and disposed so you don't have to worry about it. And I really hope to have this in my house in the future. So um, these are all cabinets. And the second thing that I really like about this kitchen is this. It's a dishwasher. I hate washing dishes, but if you have dirty dishes, put them in there, put in a dishwasher pod, click a button and you're good. This kitchen has a induction stove, so you don't have to mess with fire and a vent hood if you need to use it. And at the bottom here, we have a microwave slash oven, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite because if you use the oven, the oven needs to be preheated so it gets pretty hot. So if you're using the oven, you can't use the microwave until the oven cools down. So you can't use both at the same time. That's what I don't like about it. So I think it's better to have separate microwave and oven. Let's see uh, what I have here. I have some ramen collection here for emergencies. Um, this is a big fridge. Uh, I think it's big enough for two people. Fridge at the top, freezer at the bottom, it's all good. Oh, and one thing that I wanted to mention is that the student housing is built in a way that you get sunlight in whichever room that you're assigned to. So in the morning, you can feel the sunlight come in from the windows and it's really good because you get good sunlight. And now let's go into my humble abode. Ta-da! 
Uh, that's my room. That's my queen size bed where the magic happens, AKA sleeping. And on the left here is my desk and drawers and cabinets. That cabinet is where I keep all my clothes. There's some shelves to keep your stuff, but I don't have a lot of stuff. If you're a student or you move around a lot, my tip is don't have a lot of stuff because you have to pack and unpack and it's a big hassle if you have to get rid of stuff. And if you minimize your stuff, it's good because you get to learn what you actually really need versus what you think you need. So that's my tip. Um, here is my great snack cabinet. I take some pre-probiotics, uh, vitamin C and some snacks that I bought from Japan. Oh, here's a TV and I think it's great because you can connect your TV to your laptop and you can watch movies, shows, lectures, anything like that. So that's great. And here's my desk. I bought a diary so that I can write as much as I can. I write the things that I have to do and whatever I have on my mind. So I recommend everyone keep a diary and write whatever they want. Um, next to it, I have two boiled eggs, which I keep in case I get hungry. I use my MacBook to do my work, which I borrowed from the school. And there's a landline phone, but who uses a landline phone these days? I never use that. If we zoom out here, so I don't know anything about luxurious chairs, but apparently that is a really fancy luxurious chair. It's pretty comfortable, so I guess it does the job. And another thing about this desk is that you can adjust uh, the height so you can have it standing or sitting however you want it. So that's pretty good. Oh, the drawer next to my bed. This is a used Kindle that I bought so that I can read as much as possible. Uh, the current book that I'm reading is Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is a financial bestseller for 20 years or something. Let's go to my right. And on my right, you see my closet. I don't have many clothes because I have to move around a lot. The only thing I have is my suit, which I need for graduation and adulting events and purposes. Um, you can see my scrubs there, my shoes there. There's a safe here, uh, which I used to keep all my gold bars and jewelry and diamond rings and things like that. My ties are up here. Oh, here are some doctor things. So. Here is a stethoscope to listen to, you know, listen to patients. Here is a tuning fork to see if you can listen. And this is a reflex hammer, the kind you use to hit patients knees and elbows to see if they have good reflexes or not. And lastly, let's look at the bathroom. On the left, we have a regular shower, which does a pretty good job of showering. Here's some toilet stuff. Oh, only thing in this region. So they always have this in this part of the region. And if you know, you know, what it does is it splashes water so you can search it up. And that basin, I believe is for washing your feet, but correct me if I'm wrong. There's some of my beauty products here that I didn't organize yet. Here is a uh, hair dryer. Oh, and the water comes out great. Hot water comes out great. Cold water comes out great. And yep, that's me.